And these features that you just mentioned, what problems are they solving? Starting from the node level, uh, typically we always optimize pods. And a question we also get is, hey, my nodes uh, have a lot of waste on them. What can I do? And we'll always tell people, hey, start with Carpenter. Um, but one thing we added to the capability of our software is using our machine learning to look at the workload profiles. And after we start to right size them, looking at the shape of those workloads and determining what shape nodes they would be best suited on. And then um, setting node affinities to actually uh, nudge the scheduler to put those workloads on the right nodes. And honestly, the challenge that helps is make sure that people uh, are reducing waste at the node level. And uh, so we're very excited about that. For the Java capability, typically when we talk to users about, hey, are you right sizing? Have you uh, adjusted? your requests and limits on your workloads. If it's a Java workload, they're like, yeah, I'm not, I'm not really comfortable. I don't feel safe making changes, especially when it comes to uh, memory and how Java handles heap. And so most recently we started collecting additional metrics like heap, garbage collection uh, from Java workloads and our machine learning is consuming that data and coming up with recommendations for the heap alongside the requests and the limits for memory. So very excited about that and the challenge that that uh, solves for folks is helping them safely optimize the waste for Java workloads. And then lastly, our pay-as-you-go capability on the AWS Marketplace is exactly that. It allows people to get started and pay for what they're using, no long-term commitment. Uh, if you just want to get started, try it out, smaller scale, you don't want to talk to us, uh, it allows users to get started with the software and do all that without having to talk to a Stormforge, now CloudVault rep.